Royals, it's Danielle. Welcome back to Royally Chosen's YouTube channel. I am so excited because today we are going to be doing another wash and restyle. Today we will be doing a Moana inspired wig. I've been getting so many questions about how we restyle her and what does it look like? What does the process look like? All this stuff. So we're going to need a lot of products today. So make sure that you keep on watching and let's get wigging. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everyone, the first step, we're gonna take our wide tooth comb and we're going to very gently brush out any tangles in the bottom of the wig. Now, as you can see, this wig has lost a lot of its curls and it is very frizzy right now. So we're gonna be using a lot of products to help get back that bounce in this Moana wig. Now, if you've watched my other videos, please make sure that you always sanitize your sink before you put a wig in it. What I'm doing here is I'm just filling up my sink with warm water, not too hot, because you don't want to damage the fibers of the hair. And then we let it sit in the sink and soak for about 30 minutes to get out any other products that were in there. And once our wig has had time to sit and soak, we're gonna go ahead and wring it out and then we're gonna rinse it out thoroughly and I'm going to be grabbing an aloe base shampoo. You always wanna grab a shampoo that is safe for the wigs that you are washing, something that is paraben free, sulfate free, and just nice and natural. Today I am only going to be washing the inside of the wig cap where there will be maybe sweat or dirt from the actress. I'm also going to be washing the end of my wig because it is a little bit dead today and it just needs some extra love. And then what we're gonna do is take it over to our towel and we're going to soak up extra water that is in the wig before we put on this leave-in conditioner mask. I actually just found this at Target. It's super great. It works amazing with wigs and I just gently massage it into the entire wig. You wanna really make sure that you let it set for about 30 to 45 minutes so it really takes on the product well. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it out thoroughly, make sure that there is no leave-in conditioner in there anymore, and we're gonna do the exact same thing but with another conditioner. So we're gonna take it back over to our towel and we are going to soak up any water. You'll actually start to see some bounce come back into your wig, which is really nice too. So I take this next leave-in conditioner, same thing, massage it all throughout the wig. As you can see, the curls are starting to come back to the wig, which is so nice and so great to always see. We're gonna leave in this conditioner for the same 30 to 45 minutes, come back and rinse it out. Then we'll be ready to put it on our wig head. Now before we put our wet wig onto our block, we're gonna go ahead and put some paper towels down just so that it can kind of soak up some of the water, not ruin our block, of course. And I usually let all of my wigs drip dry, but today I am going to kind of comb out just a little bit for this Moana wig because it does have a lot of knots in it. And while it still has a little bit of that conditioner in, I just wanna make sure that I get out any knots. So be very careful whenever you brush out a wet wig because it can stretch out the fibers. Today I am going to just cut off a little bit on the bottom of my wig. This is always optional, but I do like to just make my wigs look nice and healthy whenever I do decide to wash them. Now once the wig has gotten a chance to drip dry, I take this serum that you've seen me use before, and for Moana, I just kind of crunch up the wig. This does take a lot of time and a lot of patience. I do this for, I don't know, about 20 or 30 minutes. I really make sure that I do it well because it does help get the curls in. Now today I will not be braiding my entire Moana wig because the bottom layers are in pretty good condition. So today I will be doing about the first two layers I believe that I did. So I basically braided for about an hour and it's only about 10 braids or so, but I'll kind of show you what that means. There's kind of levels to your wig cap if you kind of lift it up you can kind of see the different levels as you go around and so you'll kind of be able to see that here as I am braiding you can kind of see on top there's like a little half circle that I've braided so as I pick up all of the braids you'll kind of be able to see here is the circle now know that each time that I make a braid I am putting a little bit of serum into each braid and also each time that I go to a new level, I'm doing the exact same thing that I did in the beginning, which is crunching up the hair, floofing it out, making sure that the serum is really taking place in this wig today. 
So it does take time, it does take patience, but you gotta do this if you really wanna take care of your Moana wig. The next thing that I'm going to do is do one more level of braiding because I saw once I braided this second level that the underneath layers were in pretty good condition and didn't need to be braided. Here is the wig with the second level of braids. I would say altogether it's probably about 25 to 30 braids that I did. Now this is the end of the tutorial because I let my wig sit on the block for as long as I can. This I let sit for two weeks before I filmed this after video right here. You can see the curls look so good from the serum, letting it sit and just kind of air dry. You don't want to put netting on it or put it in a bag. If you can just leave it on your block for as long as you can, that is the best option. Then I'll take these braids out once Moana is ready to go out for a party, but other than that, I just let it sit for as long as I can. All right guys, that is the end of the video. I hope that you liked it and you learned something. This one does take a lot of work, but it is worth it to take care of your wigs. It is so, so worth it in the long run. So if you did learn something, please go ahead and place a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. We would appreciate it. it helps us out so much. And also, last thing, you see I'm wearing my Royally Chosen merch. I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it yet, it says Royally Chosen Productions on the front. And then... We got some affirmations on the back. Here we go. So if you would like a Royally Chosen Production shirt, you can go ahead and email us at royallychosenproductions at gmail.com and we would love to send you a shirt. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.